Tenetato Katoa, good evening. News Hub can tonight reveal the two Christchurch brothers convicted of almost 70 sex crime and drugging charges don't hold New Zealand passports and could be deported back to Australia when released from prison. Danny and Roberto Jazz were sentenced to long prison sentences last week for their unprecedented crimes. Victims spoken to are thrilled the pair may never walk free here again. Juliet Speedy has this exclusive report. The Jazz brothers are two of New Zealand's worst sexual predators. You are not men of good character. Yes. But neither are New Zealand citizens. The brothers of Macedonian heritage were born and grew up in Australia. They moved here with their family in 2001 when Danny was 18 and Roberto was 16. Their father set up popular hospitality businesses. So you've got Venuti and, and you've got Mama Hooch, mm -hmm. and they're quite close together. Mm -hmm. Uh, both family business, yes. is that right? Family businesses which became the brothers' playground for drugging and assaulting many young women. But the brothers may never walk free in New Zealand again. Under Section 179 of the Act, uh, once they're deported, they will, be pre they will be permanently prohibited from entering New Zealand. Police revealed to News Hub that the Jazz brothers don't hold New Zealand passports. Police have confirmed with Immigration New Zealand that they are here on resident visas. Any decision on their ongoing status is a matter for Immigration New Zealand. Immigration New Zealand said it won't comment on specific cases, but replied to News Hub's questions about the Jazz brothers with... If a person is not a New Zealand citizen, then on completion of a custodial sentence, they may be liable for deportation on account of being convicted for criminal offending. It's unknown when the brothers' resident visas were issued, but one part of the Deportation Act relies on the crime being committed within 10 years from then. It really depends on the uh, seriousness of the crime and the time the offence took place. Victims we contacted today said the potential of deportation was great news. One saying, it sounds silly, but I was already thinking about my plans in around eight years' time on how I may have to manage them back in society, potentially being able to own and manage another business and hurt more people, and whether I would have to up and move again. The brothers were last week sentenced to 16 and a half and 17 years behind bars. Would you please stand down? And now with the prospect of deportation when they're released. So, Juliet, when are the brothers entitled to apply for parole? Well, Judge Paul maybe uh, imparted a um, non minimum non-parole period of 50% of their sentences. So Roberto Jazz could be out in eight and a half years and Danny Jazz could be out in eight years. And we do understand they do have family back in Australia that their father, Michael Jazz, who owned both the establishments and is on the record as defending some of his son's behaviour, left to move back to Australia shortly after these crimes came to light. And look, Venuti, where we are now and where Roberto Jazz worked as a chef, and where he drugged and assaulted both patrons and staff. Astonishingly, that only closed this year, five years after police started investigating the brothers. And it has sat there pretty much untouched ever since. In fact, the tables are still laid for dinner. But look, I think we can safely assume that the Jazz brothers will not own or operate a hospitality venue in Christchurch ever again. And in fact, they may be out of prison and out of here for good. It's Juliet Speedy live in Christchurch. Thanks very much.